Happy Monday. The word for you today is your harvest is on the way. Our scripture passage today comes out of Mark chapter 4, verse 26. We're going to look at verses 26 to 29. And he also said, Jesus is speaking, and he said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. This is about your harvest is, is on the way. It's amazing how little we do to receive a harvest. Jesus used the example of a seed growing in the ground to compare it to when we spread the word, uh, the gospel message. God's word grows in a person much like a seed does in the ground. So first of all, the seed must be planted. Well, Romans chapter 10 verse 14 says, How then can they call on the one they've not believed in? And how can they believe in the one in whom they've not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? Just as there has to be somebody put the seed in the ground, somebody has to speak the word for people to, to know the good news about Jesus. That's the first thing, seed being planted, the word being spoken. Second thing, the seed is not visible after it's planted. When you put the seed in the ground, you cover it up. If you go out every day and uncover it, then probably not going to have any growth. When you speak, when we speak the gospel message of God, it goes into a person, and we can't see what happens then. We can't see, did they really hear it? What did they hear? Is it working? Have they forgotten it? We don't know. We don't know. So the word is spoken, it goes into a person, and we lose track of it then. And then the third thing, the seed must be left alone so the soil can do what it does. When we put the seed in the ground, we cover it with dirt, we leave it alone. Why? Because we don't want to disturb the growing process. It's much the same way when somebody hears the word of God. It takes the Holy Spirit to take that spoken word in a person and help them to grow. We can't force someone to believe. We really can't force them not to believe. We're dependent on the Holy Spirit, just as the farmer is dependent on God to cause that seed to grow. Seed planted in the ground, it's out of sight, we leave it alone. And then the fourth thing, the results of the seed plus the soil will be seen in due time. As we give the message of Jesus Christ, we tell somebody and, and we leave it. Our job is to tell. You never see where God says, you go and do this. What he does, you go and tell. Go and tell the message. And then God says, I'll take it from there. So what can we do after we've shared the word? Well, we can pray. We can pray and then we can be a good example. Good example is like watering. You put the seed in the ground and you water it, you take care of it. That's, that's much like what we do when we're a good example. In a plant, it has, there's, there's a, a cycle. It's planted, it's watered, the roots start to develop underground, and then the plant comes up. And just as a healthy plant needs a strong root system, so to have a spiritual life, we must have a strong root system in us. Because we're going to be faced with questions, we're going to be faced with challenges, and if we don't have that strong root system, that strong belief system, by things we've taken in, we're not going to stand. Just a couple months, it's going to be time to start planting. We'll go out in the garden, we'll till up the ground, we'll plant, and then we'll watch to see if there's any results. Well, let me ask you something. In your spiritual life, what is being planted in you? What new things are you learning? What new things have you learned today? Have you learned any new things today? Because see, if, if we're not learning, then it means there's nothing being planted. And if there's nothing being planted, nothing's growing. So, have you learned anything new today? I encourage you. Pick up your Bible. Maybe go to a, a book that you don't normally read. Read a few verses and see if God has something to say to you. He'll start working in you. 
And before long, you'll see the results of that. Have a good day.